Guys, welcome back to another Catch With Us video. Today I'm fishing at Lake Michigan, fishing for cohos, and I decided to do a little Walmart challenge just so it can prove to everybody that you don't need some crazy fishing setup or a lot of money to come out here and catch big fish. So I actually got this rod for 10 bucks at Walmart. It, it is a Zebco slingshot. And I've also got five of these spoons, which I'm gonna be using today for 10 bucks. So this was around $20 plus tax. And you guys can come out here to Lake Michigan and you guys can catch some big cohos or salmon, trout, whatever pretty much is biting at the time. But let's go get our rods in the water and hook one to prove to you guys that only 20 bucks is all it takes. Are there any colors that usually work good? Do you think I should switch on my spoon color? Or not? it doesn't even really matter. Oh, How do you even get out there? Is the waves, you can't walk? On the rocks over there? Yeah. The water's not that high? Well, I don't go, I go out. Oh, I got one. You got one? Yeah, let's go. Oh my God, it got off. Oh my. Ah, we know they're here. Uh, at least we got some action. They're biting. Hey. Bikov has one, but it is, it is wrapped tangled up, up line. another line. Let's see if we can retrieve it safely. There we go. We have one. Nice. That's a that's a perfect size for the other. See, there must be schooling in here right now since we just got one. Look at that mess. All tangled up, but at least we got one. I'm gonna get my rod back in the water because it seems like the fish are schooling in the area right now. See, it must be a big school right now. Yeah, that came like a minute after your hit. We got one. We got, oh my. We had one. I got one. Let's go. We're not letting him get off. We're not letting him get off. Ah, yes. Let's go. Ooh, it's a nice size one. 
Bring them over here. We gotta go get them. Come on. Yes! Thank you. We have finally got one and it's a good size one. Let's go bring it back. Guys, oh sh Oh my God, that would have been bad. We finally did it. I am so happy because I, I've put in hundreds of casts today just to finally land this one on that Walmart rod. It was a $10 rod and those spoons were each two dollars in the pack he's gonna taste delicious and can't wait to get him home fillet him up and i'm gonna actually see when i fillet him i'm gonna open his stomach up as well and we can see what he's been eating if there's anything actually in there but got him on the spoon today and let's take him home and eat him i am on the way to the gas station right now because I want to put him on ice so when we get home he's nice and fresh i have a 30 minute drive until i get there and we just want to make sure when we cook him up later that he's nice and tasty so stay tuned if you want to see what's inside of him like i said or how i think he tasted All right, guys, welcome to my first ever catch and cook video. There, you, I'll probably put it right there so you guys can get a little better view. So let's see what this guy has been eating. salmon eggs um i think you can use those for bait i'm not sure i'm i mean i know you can use them for bait but i think you just put them in a bag or something but i'm gonna definitely keep those on the side there's a little bit more in the back this has to be the stomach yet so let's see what this guy has been eating Maybe cut it. I don't know what that is. Is there nothing in here? This guy must have been pretty hungry. Just gonna cut it in half. I cannot tell what that was, but I don't know. Maybe he was on an empty stomach. Yeah, so I guess it looks like empty stomach. More poo. I don't want all that poo on my filet. But let's get to filleting this guy some more. I'm just going to cut this head off. Pretty much just take the hose obviously and just kind of wash all that blood off a bunch of black stuff in the middle i guess just push it out like this yeah there you go maybe i need the knife to oh i got it maybe before I just make a a swipe with the knife so you don't have that problem like i did there you go, take out all this black stuff. All right, now we got them all cleaned up after the hose. Looks 
pretty almost there, but obviously gonna do a final clean down once we are done. All right, see what we did on this side? There's literally no more bones. So this is gonna be amazing to eat. I'm just gonna do that same exact thing on this side and then we're gonna get in the kitchen. So maybe I could show you a little bit better on this one. So you're gonna take your knife and kind of just go right below those bones in there. Just keep going across and then take your knife, point it more towards up, hold it with this hand and slice those bones right off. You're still gonna get a little bit of meat on there but all those bones just come off just like that and that's pretty much what you're gonna do and then next step is final rinse. Just with any excess stuff that has been on there. So now it's time to bake them. Press bake obviously and then 450 is what I heard. So I'm gonna start and now it is preheating. So for my seasoning, I just decided to get some lemon pepper. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on it. And of course, cut up some lemons. And then whatever is left over, squeeze that lemon. Just got some asparagus, so I'm just gonna put those on the sides like this and bake these as well too. So once the oven's ready, we are gonna get this fresh wild caught salmon into the oven get it baked and then we can finally taste it bring it over here open it up and in 12 to 15 minutes it should be ready guys we have the finished product whoo right, that was hot let's clear up and there it is, and pull it out. Our freshly baked salmon. Gonna get it on the plate, and we are gonna give it a try. It is officially time to prepare our plate. So I'm gonna take a piece of salmon right there with the lemon, and we're gonna Give myself a couple of asparagus, a little bit more. And to top it off with some mashed potatoes. So <clears throat> here it is, salmon, mashed potatoes, and asparagus, freshly caught today. And we are gonna give it a try. So no bones in there, so that's that's amazing. Let's see. Wow, that's that's amazing. Nothing like a freshly caught salmon on your plate right in front of you with a little bit of garlic mashed potatoes. Well, that was delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because I had a lot of fun making it for you guys and if you guys want more videos like this, drop comments down below. If you guys already aren't subscribed to the channel, go subscribe because that, that just makes me get more content out for you guys. So, mm, those are crunchy. Those are really good as well too. So, I highly recommend if you guys catch salmon, make this meal for you, your friends, your family, and you're gonna really impress them because I can't wait for my family to get home, try this because I really think this is amazing. So thank you guys for watching today's video and I will catch you on the next episode of Cast With Us.